Hello guys, it's Adriana and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Adriana. I am a mother of three. My kids are actually back there right now. I'm an army wife, I'm 26, my husband's 26. We have a nine year old, a six year old and a four year old. So today I'm gonna be doing a house tour. Once again, if you are new, we had just came back from Fort Irwin, California, like we moved out of there back in February and we just moved here in March. Me and the kids just got here last week. So my husband has been here by himself for the past like two months. Um, but now me and my kids are finally here. We're all settled in and we're just ready to start this new journey here in Fort Drum, New York. Today, I'm gonna give you guys a house tour. So I'm really excited. I've been looking forward to this video. I've been unpacking, getting everything in the right place, cleaning everything. I have the dishwasher going right now because I'm like, I have to get this video up today so right now i'm going to show you the outside of the house and i'll bring you guys in so this is the front of our house it's so beautiful i love this fence right here patio is gorgeous so spacious and we had bought three chairs to sit out here for when we have company over me and the kids well me and drew my daughter were sitting out here this um last night and it was just so beautiful but here is the front porch, and then you walk in the door. When you walk in, there is a closet right here, right in front of the door. This is where my husband will store all of his military stuff because we had a door at the front of our old house that just did not have a lot of space. Everyone used it. So now he has a designated closet just for all of his gear and all of his stuff just so it can stay out of the way because I hate seeing it scattered all over the house. Then to the left, you have the main living area. We honestly don't know what we're gonna do with this space. Um, I may just convert this into an office studio area because we never come through the front door anyway. We never use this door except when we wanna go to the porch. So um, no one will ever see this when they come in because we don't, you know, like I said, we never come through the front door. So we have this open space, nice big ceiling fan and a light It has three windows in here, which is really nice. You can see right out the front. And yeah, so this is like the main living area. Through the main living area, I'm gonna start off to the right. We have right here, a bathroom, you know, just the bathroom with the toilet and the sink. I'm not gonna turn this on. Well, I'm gonna turn it on to show you guys. There's like a fan that goes on. So yeah, this is just, the restroom that everyone uses when they're downstairs. Then there is a closet right here that we have like our trash can in. We have some of our cleaning stuff, extra things like toilet paper, paper towels, cleaning stuff, extra noodles, you know, extra storage. Basically that's what this is, just a cleaning closet and a storage closet. And we also have our Wi-Fi unit up there. So off to the left of the living room, walking in, we have the kitchen. This kitchen is huge. I love it, it's so much space, a big nice island. It has the refrigerator right here, just a regular refrigerator. We have a lot of counter space, a lot of cabinets going on in here. But yeah, this kitchen is so spacious, a lot more spacious than my last kitchen. I love how this is a gas stove absolutely love gas stoves and more counter space over here and we also have a pantry right here where we keep most of our snacks candy and whatnot and drinks at the bottom this island is huge i think this is more than six feet i think it my husband he's six three and he laid across it and there was still like an extra inch so i'm guessing this it's more than six feet so this is a really 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 big island it's so beautiful um, i can't wait to have family over to entertain have all the food laid out when we barbecue it's just going to be a really good thing also more cabinets more drawers uh, we keep our silverware extra things in here so we have a lot of storage a lot of drawers on this side as well this top one is like my designated drawers where I keep my keys and my stuff at. And then we have the pots and pans down here and just some bags stored in there. Nice dishwasher right here going. More cabinet space at the bottom. Then when you walk through, you have the dining room area. I'm actually waiting 
for my table to come in because I ordered it like three weeks ago. So Ashley Furniture, if you're watching this, which you're probably not, where's my table? You guys said you're gonna call me in 48 hours. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's the table. It's gonna go right here, a nice dining room table to sit, I think, four people? Yeah, it says four chairs. So um, that's gonna be very convenient. Off of the kitchen and the dining room, we have another living area. I don't know if this was supposed to be this or what this area was actually supposed to be, but we've turned it into like our main living area because the couch literally fits perfectly in here. We have our TV off to the right. And yeah, it's just so convenient to, like I said, we have family over to entertain. Everyone can sit right here, come right to the kitchen, grab what they need. Um, so yeah, that's nice to have. And I love how our couch just literally fits right in there like a glove. We sit down here all the time. So coming towards the back, off to the left, we have my office area right now. So as you can see, my Cricut machine, my ring light, my printer. This is kind of where I keep all of my personal business stuff and everything that I have because I really don't have a designated area to put it. So this is where I just keep all of my stuff. I sit right here. Um, I've been printing off Brock's homework over here. So this is just going to be my work workspace for right now. Off to the right, we have an unorganized mess, but I need to get a shoe rack and put it right there. But until then, just this, this is where we take our shoes off and we also hang our coats up here on the hooks and we have a little ledge right there we can sit. Like I said, right now it's just a hot mess and I'm gonna have to get a shoe rack here pretty soon. So off to the right of that is the laundry room. I love, my husband loves how it has like a sink here where he can scrub off his boots and cause he's gonna get really muddy and really dirty here in Fort Drum. Um, so he has something that he can scrub his shoes off with and then we have our washer and dryer. So now this back door is the garage. We do have a garage opener right here and on our cars. I'm just gonna take you guys out here real quick. And there goes my baby right there. But yeah, it's a one car garage. And we also have this convenient side door that leads to like our second parking space, which is where I park. So you have that parking space right there in the garage and then you have this second parking space where I'm gonna park at. So I'm gonna come back through the door and just close the garage back. So now coming back through the dining area, we have the back, well, it's not a backyard, it's more like a side yard, cause it's on the side of the house. Oh my God, it's, it feels so good outside, it's so hot. Um, but our grass needs to be cut. We're supposed to be getting a lot more today and cutting it, so we'll see about that. But this is our side yard right here, which is, we're gonna call it a backyard. I can't wait to get some chairs and a table and a grill and put it out here, but Oh my God, it feels so good outside. We have a little park across the street that we can't go to because of COVID-19. And then this thing right here is pretty cool. You can open the blinds or close them. So yeah, this is, this is the downstairs area. Now heading up the stairs. It's always hot up here, which is like the biggest downfall because it always feels so cold or so nice downstairs. And then when you come upstairs, it's like a sauna up here. So we're gonna have to figure something with that. Figure that out, figure out how we're gonna fix that. But um, yeah, that's the only thing that I don't like about this house. I don't know if it's because it's just so big where it's hard for the air to reach upstairs, but oh y'all, it is always hot up here. Even when it was cold outside, like it was hot up here. As soon as you, as soon as you come up the stairs, off to the left, you have the kids, the boys room right here. Obviously, um, my oldest son, Damari, um, he's my stepson. He's my husband's first child. He doesn't live, live with us full time, but he will be with us part time. So I thought it was just convenient to make sure he also had a bed while he's here, his own personal bed. So most of the time during the school year, Brock's gonna be here by himself, just sleeping in his bed. 
or sometimes we may have company over. They can also sleep in the extra bed, but for the most part, that's my stepson's bed. So this is the boys' room. Of course, every room comes with like this big ceiling fan. I made sure to get like matching comforters because I just think this looks so mature. The character covers, I'm like, my kids are kind of getting too old for characters. So I think this looks a little more mature, especially if we have guests over, they can feel more comfortable sleeping in the extra bed. Then they also have this really nice big closet right here with the two double doors. Then when you open it, you have the closet right here. They also have their own laundry basket and yes, organized everything, super nice. Off to the left of the boys room, we have my daughter's room. This is gonna double as her bedroom and the guest room. So like when we have family over, um, they can sleep in the queen size bed because hers is a queen. And then my daughter is probably just gonna jump over here to this extra bed. So she'll share a room with Brock. And then we have like his mother that comes over, my mom, my brothers or whoever, um, they can have their own personal room with their own, you know, nice size, queen size bed. Big nice window right here for her and for our guests. They're gonna love seeing this view every morning when they're here. So I cannot wait till family comes and visits. I hope they visit often. If you guys are watching this, you guys need to come as much as you can. Um, but she also has a double door closet right here. And yeah, everything's organized, her own little basket. This is her toy box for now. The toy, box, the toy box that I was gonna get on Amazon ended up selling out the day I checked out for the beds. So I have to try to figure out what I'm gonna do about a toy box. For her toy box, I may just do a, um, what feels better in her room with that fan on? Let me turn the boys fan on. I may just get one of those plastic bins at Walmart for like $7, those big plastic ones, and just use that for toys and for extra storage. But yeah, this is my daughter's room. Again, it comes with a big ceiling fan. And yeah, we're gonna throw that out cause that's like leaning when the movers brought our stuff back like it was broken. But yeah, that's her room right here. Off to the left of her room is the kids and the guest restroom, which is really, really nice. This bathroom is so nice. They have their sink right here with their toothbrushes and stuff, extra drawers and extra storage. It's gonna get loud for a second. They have their toilet right here. I actually need, this is mine, but I guess I'll just buy myself a new one. The shower, super nice. Shower curtain. They each have their own towels and washcloths right there. And their restroom has a linen closet as opposed to me and Drew's restroom doesn't. So the linen closet is in the kids in the guest bathroom right here. A lot of room in there. So yeah. Nice lighting, nice mirror. Down the hall is the, also the guest room. We have a lot of guests who can come here and stay here because this, we have a lot of extra space. But this is basically like the game room slash guest room. We're gonna get, we're gonna move that TV into me and Drew's room. That was our old TV that was downstairs in our living room. The TV that's downstairs now is a new TV that my husband bought when he came here. So this is our old TV that's gonna go in me and Drew's room. And we're gonna lay a futon out right here so that way when guests come over and just sit and chill with Drew while he plays the game, they can just sit and, you know, talk, drink beers or whatever. We have um, our chair over there. And then when they, when it's time to go to bed, the extra guests can just pull the futon out and just sleep in here at night. Um, this works perfect as a guest room because this closet right here, as you can see, it only has one door. So the closet is a lot smaller than the two kids' bedrooms. So that's why this room is so great for guests because we honestly, I'm gonna open this for you guys. We literally just use this as extra storage. Like there's so much junk in there. <laughs> so this works perfect as like a game room. Um, so yeah, my husband just got into hockey and this is his team. He bought this thing to a sticker to put up on the wall. I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, this is his room and all of his Funko Pops. These aren't even half of his Funko Pops, you guys. He still has two full boxes of Funko Pops in the closet. But these are his Funko Pops that he has out right now. These must be his favorite ones. 
Um, and then he has like a bunch of like toys. And <laughs> let me not call him toys. He's gonna get mad if I call him toys. <laughs> okay, so then down the hall, we have me in Drew's room. Off to the right is our restroom. We have a double sink in here, which is what I love because as a man and being in the army, he's always shaving. And so there's always hair all over the sink when I want to use it. So I'm glad he can just shave on his side and my side can stay clean. But yeah, so this is the restroom. Uh, do these drawers work? I don't think these are drawers. No, they're not. Okay. That's just for, for fashion. Um, we did the cabinets do work. So those are cabinets. Again, once you turn this light on, this fan just gets to going. And my husband's obsessed with anime. So I said, look, you can choose a shower curtain, but you cannot choose the rest of the house. So he gets to decorate this restroom and his game room. And I get the rest of the house to decorate. But yeah, so comment down below if you know what this is or where it's from. We have our toilet right here. And then when you open the shower, we have all of our stuff in here. I love these sponges. It's so exfoliating. It's so nice to have. And then we switched out the shower head. We bought a new shower head to put on and I love it to death. But the shower is so nice and so clean. I love having the shower curtain. I thought I would like the sliding doors in Irwin, but having to clean those doors for those cleaning videos was very stressful. So I think having the shower curtain again is convenient so i i've already taken a bath i love taking baths so i will have to do a cleaning video here soon because i it's been a few days since we cleaned this bathroom but yeah this is our really nice restroom with the double sinks and then you have our bedroom right here it's pretty bare but i kind of like it that way because we're moving all that stuff and i had to move my mom's apartment it's stressful moving so but we had just bought this bed frame and we put it together and it looks so nice this is like our first legit bed frame like with a headboard and all that that's that's what i'm trying to say so this is really really nice i think we're going to switch out the comforter because i do not like this black my husband bought it while i was gone um so it's it's decent for right now and then we have two nice windows in here the bed right here, two end tables and the fan. We have to sleep with the fan, you guys. Comment down below if you also sleep with the fan. We cannot go with a silent room. Like we're just not about that life. Um, over here is where we're gonna set up the TV once we get a TV stand. We're probably just gonna mount it on the wall. We're not sure yet. And then I also have my table over here. It's just convenient to like charge my phone, charge my laptop, edit in the bed. Then over here off to the right of the room, we have the walk-in closet. And this is my side of the closet with my laundry basket, my husband's laundry basket, and then his side of the closet. But that's the end of the video. That's the entire house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I hope I showed you guys everything. I hope I went through everything. I think I did. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.